A lack of confidence will stop you from living the life you really want. A lack of confidence will limit your health, happiness and freedom. And that's what I'm all about. Hey everyone, I'm Paul Wadsworth, the founder of IntraLifestyle.com and today I want to share with you how to be more confident in yourself. First of all, let's understand what confidence is and then we can look at how you can build it up. Confidence is a feeling, it's a trust within yourself. Confidence is conviction in what you do. People that are confident shine, they radiate a certain type of energy. Confidence is a certainty in oneself that they're gonna achieve something. And one of the first things to do and notice with your confidence is to look at your physiology, your body language. Are you someone that has bad posture? Are you often walking around with your head down and your shoulders forward and slumped? How is your voice when you speak? How do you give a handshake to someone? All of these little signs and body language that you use will show you it's a reflection of where you are in a particular moment with your confidence. And that's not to say that you're always going to be not confident and there'll be certain areas of your life where you feel more confident than others. I believe that confidence is more of an internal thing. The thoughts we have in our minds. So oftentimes if you're thinking a lot of negative things and you have self-doubts and limiting beliefs, that is gonna massively impact your confidence. And the stories we tell ourselves in certain situations, we create meanings to certain things and that can also influence and affect our confidence. You'll notice that a lot of successful people walk around and radiate a certain type of energy. They walk with a certain element of an inner knowing and confidence in who they are. They walk into a room and people turn their heads. So some of the ways that you can improve your self-confidence is to first of all just notice the language you use to yourself and start changing that if it's quite negative. Oftentimes we can be our own worst critics. We can down talk and downplay ourselves and not reward ourselves or be kind to ourselves. Another thing to do is to actually start visualizing yourself as the person you want to become. So if at the moment you're not a very confident person or there's certain areas of your life where you feel like you're not, then build a vision of your life. Start to visualize daily or every other day, however often you want to do it to begin with, but start to visualize the person that you want to become and then start to act and be that person. A lot of the time, confidence is gonna come from falling flat on your face. So that means failing a lot of times. That means being rejected by people and being okay that you're rejected and not getting into the headspace of like, what does this mean about me? A few of the biggest human fears are, I am not enough, I am not loved, I am not worthy. So when things in our life start to mirror that back to us, it builds that belief and that negative self-talk. We start to lose that confidence and we start to go back into our old patterns. So we have to take control. So just to recap so far, so focus on physiology. The simplest thing to start with is you can just adjust your posture. Bring your shoulders back, head up, stand tall. Think about your voice when you speak, your handshakes, affirm what you do, be confident in who you are, even the way you walk, the way you show up in the world, the way you see yourself is the way other people see you and it's the way other people are gonna treat you. Set a standard for yourself of a life that you wanna live and set that level so that other people have to meet you at that level and don't let people walk all over you. Don't let people put you down. You are in control of your life. Another thing to understand is that a lot of the time confidence comes from practice, which does mean failing. Doing my very first video on here, I really didn't want to do it for a while because I was concerned and worried about how I would come across. But I knew that pushing myself to do that, I would overcome those fears because they're normal to have. And now I'm at a point where I'm not even thinking about that so much. I'm just thinking about how I can help and serve people. And I wanna send that a positive message and help as many people as I can. And so, so self-confidence comes from trial and error. It comes from being okay with failing. It comes from that certainty within yourself. The image and the vision you have of yourself, your self-image, your self-worth is gonna play a massive part in this. So really prioritize things in your life your values, look at what they are and live in alignment with them. You wanna look at your health and fitness. Are you someone that is taking care of your body? 
Are you eating the right foods? Are you getting enough sleep? Are you drinking enough water? Are you respecting your body and giving it the nourishment that it deserves? If you do these simple things, you are showing that you respect yourself and that you prioritize your health and well-being. And you ain't gonna take shit from things and people that you don't feel are worthy of it. Because at the end of the day, you live with yourself for your entire life. Things come and go in your life, relationships, jobs, careers, all of these things come and go, but you stay with yourself for your entire life. So you better learn to get comfortable with yourself. And that's another thing, spend time with yourself and enjoy spending time with yourself. Get to know yourself, go for a walk, read a book, whatever it is you wanna do, but just be comfortable in your own company because you're gonna be with yourself till the day that you die. And you wanna make sure that you are looking after yourself, you're prioritizing yourself and you feel good within yourself. Because that is the key at the end of the day. When you feel good within yourself, with where you are, what you have, and your current situation, yes, maybe you want more, and yes, you can get more, but if you're happy and you're grateful with what you have, and you feel good in yourself, then that's gonna radiate confidence. And then your actions in your day, the things you do, the things you achieve, the people you meet, all of these things are gonna start coming into alignment. And that self-confidence of yours is gonna start increasing. And guess what? When your self-confidence increases, things in your life will start happening, things will go your way, and you will start seeing results, you will start seeing success. But the biggest thing that I wanna say about that is, more confidence is gonna give you greater health. When you focus on those things I've spoken about, you're gonna have more freedom, freedom to be who you want and express yourself, and not worry about what other people think. And if you do, it's okay to acknowledge it, but you still take the action anyway because you know that your self-worth, your self-confidence, your self-belief, your self-love are more important than some random person's opinion of you. And then happiness. You are gonna be more happy because at the end of the day, life is short and we wanna make the most of our time here. So I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please consider subscribing and share it with someone else that may benefit. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.